This unit is one of our EX drum rotators, so it'll lift drums and tip them in a zone one environment. It's pneumatically powered, so we plug an airline in to power the lift. So push the unit forward, the band goes round the drum, connect the strap, then we connect the rim clamp, and we're ready to lift. Next thing we do is push the unit forward to the drum. Then the rotation gearbox is on this side here. So as we wind the handle, On this model we have an operate button, if we press the operate button before we press lower. Same applies to lift. We're now looking at the close-up of the head. So these arms can move in and out, so if I move this I can move these in and out. The same with this arm, this also moves in and out. Now this band you can adjust from this position into these holes here. So if these pins are in this position for 205, 200 litre drums, this one will be 180 and that would be 120, that would be 100 and then down to 50. Really you've just got to adjust the band so the gearbox pivot is in the middle part of the drum. So to adjust it is very easy. So for this drum, we want to set this in this hole because it's a smaller diameter. So push the arm in to make the gap a little bit smaller. Remove these two pins, grab hold of the arm, and then we just socket that in the next two pin positions there. So you can see these sticking out the back of the unit there. So we've moved it one hole position forward. Then we put the R pins in the back of the band. That now joins the band. You can then open up the band. And you can see now if we bring this drum in, that's a nice angle. You know, it's a nice touching the drum all the way around. And the pivot is right in the middle of the gearbox. You can see the pivot on the other side is right in the middle of the drum. And that shows you in the correct position for this. So what I'll do now, I'll come around the other side and we'll tension it up. Okay, next thing we do, take the ratchet strap off here, reach around and fasten it on the door. Then we grab hold of this strap here and we pull this. So as we pull this, there's no gap in the band all the way around. Then we keep this in your right hand and then we tension it. And we only tension it until the drum starts to deflect and then that's fine. Then this is the rim clamp and this goes underneath the lip of the drum and we can adjust this again so we can change the height of this. 
So we take this pin out, we can set this at different heights, put it under the drum, put the pin in, and we hold this up underneath the drum, and then spin down the nut. So this supports it in the vertical, and it doesn't matter how slippy this drum is, it enables the band to cope with these egg-shaped mousers, slab-sided plastics, or the steels, traditional type of drums. We're now looking at the back control panel. First thing is the emergency stop. If you press this down, then all function will stop. To reset, we just turn and it pops back up. This is the up and down lever. So to lift, we pull, to lower, we push. But we must always press the operate button. So if we pull the lever, nothing happens. We press the operate button, you hear the pump, and then we can lift or we can lower. 